Let's sneak peek. Uh -huh. Tell me that don't look good. working on our F600 pickup and we will be talking about what we're going to do about the giveaway. So we got a real good one for you today. Stay tuned. You're watching Whiskey Dance. All right. So if you're new to the channel, this is our F600 grain truck, affectionately known as Lomax. We cut off an axle. We moved this one forward, put a pickup box on it. We're building our own dually box for it we will be giving this away tell me what you guys think in the comments don't forget to uh hit that like button as soon as you realize you like it if you haven't already just give you a heads up you're gonna so anyways let's All do right, it so i picked up a few things um, a few weeks ago, I had said that we we're going to try to get our patina with a cheap sandblaster. Well, that was $30 from Harbor Freight. Got a little bit of this stuff. Some extra material that I need for making the top of our U-bolts. Um, I got some lights for the front. I'm going to do something a little bit different uh, underneath the Lomax uh, insignia on the bumper. What else? We got a bunch of sandpaper. I got a whole bunch of cans of Wimbledon White. $40 a can. Holy cow. Everything's going up. Anyways, I think what we will be doing is I'd like to get all this cut out. I was initially going to leave or put that on there and then extend it over. But after you look at it from the side, it doesn't look right. So that's getting gone. So let's uh, pull this. We'll mark it off quick, and then we'll uh, pull that off and get the death wheel out and see if we can't cut that up and clean it, make it look nice. All right, so basically what I'm going to be doing is just marking this. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of room. Nothing too crazy. I don't want to get too high when I cut this because you'll be able to see into the box and that ain't gonna work. So this top line is more than likely coming down. So I'm going to pull this side off and then we'll uh, get some measurements to see exactly how far this comes down so that we're not, you know, completely into the box, if that makes sense. So we got trimmed up. We got this center portion knocked out of there. You can still see these, but I think once it's painted black, it's probably not gonna be terrible. We'll see uh, once we get everything painted and whatever else, if I don't like it, I'll cut it out of there, but uh, that's where we're sitting so far. I think it looks good. I cleaned a little bit of this up and that sucked it in really nice. 
I plan on just welding along this seam and then just a tiny, tiny skim coat of uh, Bondo or whatever I use. Or whatever they use. I don't know. I'm not a body guy. And then I'm going to, you know, just use the smallest amount as possible. I'll probably do a little bit of sanding on that inside part and paint it black now. I would also like to get this body line perfect today and maybe paint this bedside. See what it looks like. So it's all one color. I'll just put some tape or something on there where I need to uh where I need to be welding, but I don't know. Make it look like something today. Okay, so I couldn't help myself. I hit it with some black paint. It uh, definitely looks a whole lot better. So I think now we're going to focus on that body line. Both sides. Uh, we need to cut a little bit out of the back here and there. I don't know. There's a few things we need to uh, adjust and whatever else, but uh, we'll get there. It's really close already. So I'm going to find my string line and then... Uh, Get that laid out and see if we can't get this laser straight. Okay, we interrupt this portion of the video because, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I got a P.O. Box a couple of weeks ago. It's P.O. Box 1476, Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, 56502. And we got our first package here. So it is from Far smell far smell sorry if i'm uh, pronouncing your name wrong open it up pretty excited about this <coughs> who farts in a box and sends it to someone oh, you're disgusting well maybe p.o box was a bad idea all right so i have my tape Holding uh, our little string line. You know, if you take the ends of these and fold them, they're a whole lot easier to uh, take off when it's time. Anyways, we'll string some of this out and see where we're at. I don't know if you guys have ever seen vehicles where their body line isn't straight. And I just think it just looks absolutely terrible. I don't know. I'm guessing. I'd say it's got to come down about an inch. Three quarter to an inch. Maybe a little less, but. Yeah, something like that. Front up a little bit, back down. So I'm going to mess with this just a little. I'll get the shims and whatever else I need. Throw some washers under there or something. Sounds like Christian's coming back over to help outstanding thank you sir you know he's fresh out on uh, work release so it's uh, nice to help people out once in a while all right so it looks like i have the front about perfect but what i need to do is on the f600s they had this plate across the top that needs to come out that's about a quarter inch and then from the factory they have these blocks of wood so i need to knock that out too and i think that'll get us really close to where we need to be do that on both sides, yeah, and I'll be right back. All right, it looks good now, boys and girls. Take a little peek down the side. I don't know if you can see it better or not. The box itself is just a hair high. It's the shims that I have in there, but I'm not gonna mess around with it too much because once everything's done, then we'll get it perfect. <laughs> For right now i'm really happy with it so i think what i'm going to do now is uh just scuff this all just a little bit 
get a little bit of primer on there here and there some brown paint and then uh i'm gonna put some tape over this because it's gonna have to come back off when i weld it and do body work and whatever else but we'll get one side one color so we can kind of get a look at it so let's do it All right, so I just crudely have this masked off where I will be welding. And I'm gonna take this brown paint and I'm just gonna kind of spray it where I want my patina to be once we start sanding on it. I was kind of thinking like maybe the top of this, the bottom edges, maybe somewhere down here. Maybe any high points that had patina previously. I don't know. There's no wrong way to do it. Personally, I think less is more when it comes to this stuff. Some guys want to airbrush and do drips and like all this other stuff. I ain't getting that fancy because I think it looks fake. But uh, you know, there are some good guys out there to do it, but I highly doubt it's going to be me. Anyways. So this is where I'm at. I'll come back when I got it a little more painted. All right. I figured better safe than sorry with that green that was on there. So I just hit the whole thing brown. And then we'll uh, let this dry. And then we'll hit it with our Wimbledon white. And uh, eh. hopefully it kind of looks like the rest of it. Wish me luck. <laughs> the brown is hideous. I don't know if I've ever owned a brown vehicle, but uh, yeah, I don't think I ever will either. Unless it's a screaming deal. All right, so this is ready to paint. I know some of you guys are thinking, oh, it's going to look like crap and this, that, and the other thing. I don't mind if it looks like crap. I want it to look like an old uh, farm truck. And if I made it nice and, you know, spent thousands of dollars on paint and whatever else, well, then I'd be scared to drive the darn thing. So I want somebody to drive this thing every day and enjoy it and not worry about door dings or, you know, running over your neighbor's dog or whatever. It's not going to, it's not going to damage it any more than it already is. So do you understand? Anyways, let's get some of this, uh, Wimbledon white on here see what it looks like all right so typically when you get your own paint mixed up they'll send you a wide sprayer or like the normal small ones I'm definitely not using this and you also want to make sure that you don't try to get single coat coverage I shook the crap out of this can already. So basically what I'm gonna do is just kind of lightly hit it. Just enough to kind of get it to change colors a little bit. This can is actually sprayed pretty nice. Kind of happy about that. It is a beautiful day in Minnesota right now. Where are you guys all from? Who's excited to win this? So I guess I should tell you guys exactly what's happening. The plan is, is that I'm going to get 500 stickers made up and then I'll sell them for $30 a piece. And if you buy a sticker, then you get an entry to win this. And depending on where you live, I may deliver it. If you're in California or whatever, we'll have to make arrangements. But uh, 
as long as you're in the continental US, the shipping is on me. So, but that's kind of my plan. Uh, I'm talking to someone right now about getting stickers made. I just wanted to get uh, a realistic, you know, or like a picture of this that we could put on there. So, and uh, I'd also like to have whoever wins it, um, we'll do like maybe a video where we take it for a drive or, you know, I kind of give them a rundown of what it is and whatever else. And then maybe we'll check back in with them later and see how they love it. So, but, uh, yeah, if you want to get some attention at gas stations from old men, I got a feeling this is what you want. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me uh, there's not going to be a bunch of gawkers when you see this thing come rolling down the road So, oh I did look at some wheels and tires but uh, they're real nice chrome but I, I'm not spending five grand on some wheels uh, maybe the next guy wants to you know, maybe you want to put a Cummins in it or you know, whatever something with a little more friendly highway gears in it but I think this thing I got a feeling when we put the other four speed in there, you should be able to do 60, but uh, I don't think you're gonna wanna go much faster than that. She's probably really gonna be screaming, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna finish getting this coat on here and then uh, we'll check back in a little bit. Bye. Who is ready to see it? Da, da, whoa, hey now. Oh man, does that look good. Wow. I am absolutely in love with it. Uh, it is a little bit lighter, obviously, but um, once I start sanding on it or hitting it with the... Uh, with our new bead blaster. That'll take care of all that real quick. But all in all, I'm really impressed. I think it looks great. What do you guys think? Do you think I should put a gigantic exhaust tip out there? Or I was kind of thinking like eight inch stacks that went up maybe five, six inches higher than the cab on each side. I don't know yet. Definitely going to do something. Got to get a little creative, but uh, we'll figure it out. What a beautiful view. I don't know. Just can't stop looking at it. Must have did something right. Oh, yeah. I wish I had more room back here. Got so much clutter going on right now. It's uh, kind of hard to zoom back and really get a good look at it. But uh, looks nice. What should we work on next? I think Christian should be here any minute, so... Probably pull that transmission out. You know, if you guys are bored, you can check out uh, some of the other like 50 videos that I have of, you know, like random stuff, like making a custom grill. What else? I made my own muffler. I did some exhaust tips. Working on this crew cab for nine months. There's uh, something for everybody. 306 cylinder we got running uh me and classic car revivals and uh randomness with jeff i don't know a few months back so anyways should we uh the other day i was talking about this tailgate and what i wanted to do is i'm going to cut this section out this whole thing with the Ford emblem, that Ford name or whatever. 
I'm going to cut that whole thing out. And I'm going to put some plexiglass or tempered glass or something in there. And then I'm just going to have that in the middle so it looks like it's kind of floating. So something a little bit different. I can't say I've ever seen anybody do it. But it's not like it's going to be super nice. I mean, I'm not pounding any dents out of this thing. She's pretty beat up. It's not terribly rusty. I mean, got a little bit of a little bit of cancer there, but uh, so that's what I meant when I said that I was going to cut the hole in the tailgate. And I think it'll be a little bit easier to see behind you if you're backing up or whatever else. I don't know. Just trying to be a little different, a little out of the norm, you know. A little surprised nobody's ever tried even doing that, but. Uh, yeah, why not? All right, so hear me out here. You know I did that 65 grill. What if I put uh, a little ring around that and got rid of the Ford across the top? Doesn't look terrible. Huh? What do you guys think? Or am I just pissing people off right now? <laughs> I kind of like it, but uh, I better not touch this one. All right, so I'm going to get that shifter pop loose. Can't say that I've taken this style apart yet, but uh, can't be that big of a deal. Top probably twists off. Oh, what else? Hanger bearing, drive shaft. Christian said he'd be here any second. If you guys ever run into him on the street, I would highly suggest not saying anything about those chickens that they have at uh, Fleet Farm. You know, the babies that you can buy or whatever. Yeah. Wouldn't do it if I were you. <laughs> All right, so what a greasy mess. It's four bolts holding the transmission in. We gotta get both shifters off and then the speedometer cable. And we also need to disconnect uh, the drive shaft or whatever. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. I'll show it to you when it's on the ground. Um, the one that I have has a normal like yoke out of the back of it. So I'm kinda hoping I can use this brake. But uh, I don't know. The one that I have sitting on the floor over here is a T18, I think, or 19. And then this is a Clark 5-speed. So I don't know what's going to be interchangeable and what's not. I've heard that it bolts directly up to this bell housing, so I'll be able to leave the clutch and everything else in it. So uh, I'll be back when it's on the ground. All right, so we got the transmission out. But uh, unfortunately, the transmission that I have, the shaft is way different. This is a Clark 5-speed, and the other one is a T18, T819, whatever it is. So the shafts aren't even close. So, oh, and I dumped tranny fluid all over the place, or gear oil, or whatever you want to call it, the stuff that was in there. So, I don't know. Right now, I'd have to say that I'm on a lookout for something with an overdrive transmission in it. Um, preferably a 351 or something a little bit bigger. So this thing will drive nice, but I don't know. Whew, that looks good. So anyways, I guess, uh, we'll check back in soon. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Unfortunately, that uh, that shaft on the transmission being oversized kind of put a damper on today's activities, but we'll see what we can do. We'll get it figured out. So I'm guessing I'll probably have another episode for you on Tuesday. So until then, y'all come back down here. And get out in the garage. Enjoy this beautiful weather. He's ready to win a pickup. Thank you.
Oh, you guys are still here. So, I think I figured out a solution to our problem. Uh, I talked to Classic Car Revivals, and he told me all I need is a different clutch and a throwout bearing, and I should be good to go. So, as of right now, that's the plan. I found one for a whopping $85 on uh, Rock Auto, so... It's a good thing I talked to him because I was going to put this uh, six cylinder in with that four speed because I wouldn't have to uh, change the length on the drive shafts. But uh, I still might be able to use drive shafts out of there. Oh, we'll see. So I think this weekend I'm still going to work on it some. So we'll probably have a video on Tuesday again weather permitting um yeah really appreciate you guys showing up and uh well we're we're flying towards 5,000 subscribers so let's get that knocked out tell your friends about it tell everybody about um about the little giveaway we're doing or whatever and uh let's make somebody really happy and then we'll use the funds from that to uh build something really cool so all right you guys have a good weekend see you soon bye